This is how to crochet the sunflower square part three. For this row, we're going to work on the flower petals and they're going to be triple crochet clusters. So to start, I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to yarn over twice and insert my, well, I'm trying to weave in the ends. So I'm going to yarn over twice and then I'm going to insert my hook in between the puff stitches. So I'm going to insert it right here at the base of my chain. Then I'm going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, but I'm not going to finish. I'm going to yarn over twice again, insert my hook into the same spot, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, don't finish, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to do it five times. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, still don't finish. And then we're going to yarn over twice, and then we're going to insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and I, you think we're going to um, finish, but we're not, because I don't like the, how the last one looks. So yarn over, pull through two. Uh, for the last, see, I'm confusing myself now, but to finish, we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on the stitch. I like to pinch the base of wherever I pull my yarn through with my middle finger and thumb, and that really helps when you're, um, pulling yarn through a bunch of stitches. Now, you might get dizzy watching this, and I'm sorry if you do. I, if you guys want eight minute videos of me doing this in real time, I absolutely can. Um, but when I saw that it was eight minutes long, I wanted to, I still wanted to show the whole row, um, or round, but, uh, eight minutes was excessive. Plus my internet sucks, so it would take forever to upload. Um, if you can get over the hand movements though, it's kind of interesting to watch how the petals come together because it, it starts to look like magic, at least to me it does. Then I was thinking that I could maybe do one of those, like, read Reddit stories, because some people told me I should do, like, audiobooks, and if you disagree, it's totally fine. I don't think I need to do audiobooks. Be cool, but... Mm. But on those long videos where it's just like you're watching me crochet instead of me rambling, I thought maybe I could, like, find some Reddit stories or something and just read them for a little bit bit of entertainment. Um, but let me know what you think on that, because I can totally do that. I would love to do that, even if I just, like, did, like, a long video and I talked in the most monotonous voice. I, I think I could put people to sleep. I know I put my kids to sleep all the time that way, so. Um, but if you like these kind of close-up stitch tutorials, be sure to like and follow. I post them almost every single day on my page. And if you have any questions about this stitch or another stitch... Oh, I forgot to say, you separate the petals by three chains. Oh my goodness. See, I'm tired. It's late. Three chains. <laughs> I'll see you in part four. Bye!